All right, so today what we're gonna do is perform a skull crusher, which is obviously gonna focus on our tricep. Um, so we've got two options. You do have a normal barbell. Um, you can use dumbbells or we can use an EZ bar. Uh, EZ bar is really effective, I do prefer that. Um, it does take a lot of pressure off the wrist. It's a lot more clean um, in the way that we allow the movement to occur, but it comes down to personal preference. So Crystal, what I'm going to do is use a pronated grip over the bar. Yep. All right, so when we're going to do this grip, we want to actually go one thumb with, out from each other. So you touch it in the middle. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do is get Crystal to lay down, pulling that barbell to her chest, and then driving up to the top. Now with the skull crusher, what we're actually focusing on is ensuring that we're well stabilized in the shoulder. So a lot of people I see pull a lot of lat and shoulder work, obviously pulling the, keep your bar stable there for a second, pulling the bar forward and back like this for some movement. So it's gonna help with momentum, but that's not what we wanna do. Our focus is solely putting the direction of force into the tricep. So what I'm gonna get Tristan to do is actually tuck her elbows in force them towards the back or the front of the gym here. And then we're gonna lower down towards her eyebrows there. Good, I'll get you to go a little bit lower for me. <laughs> keep going, keep going, and boom, up. Good, so pretty much what you do is you wanna picture that you've got a grid here or a plane of grip. That way she can't physically move those arms back or forward. They're stuck in this frame here. The only thing that's allowed to move is her elbows. That's it. Now, well, she's working against gravity here, so what we're looking at is complete line of force going through the tricep. We're not working on the lats, we're not working on the shoulder, we're working directly on the tricep. So, point those elbows in again, towards the back or the front of the gym, and lowering down, and then squeeze them up. There you go. And as you can feel there, the triceps are all nice and hard. And again. Good, the biggest issue is once people start to fatigue, their elbows will start to flare. So go down for me and flare your elbows out. Yep, flare them out, pretend you're struggling. That's it, cool. So people generally force their elbows out to try and allow to get the weight up. If that's happening, just reset yourself, squeeze your elbows in and then get that full contraction. Keeping those elbows pretty much pitched that you want to force these two together, and that will really get those triceps on nice and hard throughout all the movement, and therefore you won't need to go any heavier. Smashed it. All right, on the way down, lower towards your chest for me, and then sit up for me, rolling onto those legs there. Perfect. So that's a safe way of doing it, rather than throwing it directly from the head down to the legs. Three into the chest, rolling onto the quads, and then sitting up from there. Or unless you have a spotter, those are two safe, effective ways of getting rid of the bar.